Start from the top? Yeah, we'll start from the top. Okay. Sorry. It's okay. All right, take 50. What's going on, guys? Today I'm going to show you two don't do's of judo. Okay. This is something that I've seen people do, and then something I've seen their teachers do, and something I've seen their teachers do, and it sort of became this telephone game when do it like this, do it like this, do it like this, and then before you know it, it just became this phenomenon where it just took a life of its own. Now everybody's doing it with a straight face and I just don't know why, okay? I'm gonna go for Ochigari. And, okay, you guys ever see that? Let's do it from another angle. All right, what's up guys, we're doing Ochigari. Okay. <laughs> why, okay? I have a guess. Uh, when you go Ochigari, you wanna go chest to chest and you wanna lock the person in. Because if you're far away, obviously, it's going to be very difficult to throw, okay? You want to improve position, get good position, lock the person in, put the weight onto that heel, and then lock, uh, hook that ochi and go, right? Um, I think it became this thing where if you open up the gi in the hand, it's a lot easier to put shoulder into the chest, so people just started doing it, and then it just sort of got skewed along the way and said, hey, take the gi, open it, and put it over the shoulder, okay? So that's something that I... <laughs> I'm gonna say don't do um, anything that's an ism that has been passed on through the generations. You don't just want to listen to it and do. You want to question it. Okay, not disrespect. You're like I'm not doing that. But like, why do we do the things that we do? With what purpose are we doing these things? Okay, uh, I think it's very important when you do ochi to keep a strong wrist and then get close body to body so you can freak the leg and drive. Um, I guess maybe this sort of a thing can help as a teaching tool, but you know, nine times out of 10, it's unnecessary. And when I see it, I'm just kind of instant cringe. Another one that I see all the time as a judo don't, is people saying, grip up with the guy and then start shaking his gi. Okay, why? What purpose does that serve? And I think I have an answer to that too. So, right side versus right side. I'm gonna collect the material, create a nice little handle, and I'm gonna pin this elbow to his hip, okay? Now I'm driving my weight into this arm, right? I'm like sort of tabletop in, leaning on this arm. So using my entire weight and focusing onto this bicep, pinning this elbow to the hip, is gonna be very difficult for George to go for any sort of a take technique, right? Also, ah, okay. I'm leaning into this arm, right? So what George is gonna to wanna to do to defend this is he's gonna rotate the arm inside the gi. Okay? Rotate the arm inside the gi, and then bring the elbow over the hand, okay? Let's go a little bit slow, so. Hand on the outside, he rolls the shoulder, and then the elbow, go, you gotta go slow so we can see it. <laughs> Roll the shoulder, okay? There's still pressure. Elbow goes up and around the hand here, go ahead. And now, you see how the hand is to the inside, and a lot of tension on this finger, okay? Now it's gonna be very difficult for me to hold on to this gi, let it will put this pressure into the pocket here. Okay, so he releases the hand elbow. Oh shoot. Okay, and now when I go to regrip it, he's gonna pick this elbow up. Oh, and right, then he brings the elbow down. Oh, oh. Ah. and then he goes for a turn throw. Oh shoot. All right, kind of like this. And you know, it is sort of uh, right. He's trying to take this hand off actively. Right, right. He's maybe going Koji. Okay, I'm pinning this elbow down. He goes, rotate, elbow goes over, cut the hand, and then he goes in for a tile, or he shakes his elbow to make it difficult for me to re-grip that sleeve, okay? So maybe I think that's where it came from. Um, and then maybe there was a old Japanese sensei that said, oh, shake the elbow, shake the elbow. And then that guy taught the next guy, and now it became this thing like, yeah, go out there and then shake the guy's gi. Okay, uh, it's gonna be a judo don't. Right? <laughs> um, there you go. That's uh, two things that you shouldn't do in judo. A lot of people do.